Why did you describe the success of the new AlphaFold 2 as scary? So this was, we had this conversation a couple of weeks ago and I thought we sort of explored it in our conversation. Um, I find it uh, more more terrifying than you do, and you um, had a had a more tempered um, response. Remind me of where we were in that discussion. Alpha. Oh, so AlphaFold two is the is the Google solution, the AI solution to protein folding. Right. And um, I mean, I, I, this came in this hour, and I felt obliged to read the question, but I'm not sure. I feel like we sort of had the conversation. I don't have anything to add because I have not been thinking about this anymore for All right. a couple of weeks. So I think I can. I think I can recover it. And I would say the um, my expectation was that there is actually a simple logic underlying um, the way proteins fold. Something that is effectively explored closer to what Legos are like than. Uh, building stuff from the ground up at a molecular level. That's right. And so my hope, I guess, Mm -hmm. is that what the program did was intuit something about the heuristics that go into exploring the space, and therefore that basically this is hinting at a discovery we might be about to have, but it does not imply that the awesome power of artificial intelligence is right there and we are standing at the singularity and et cetera. Yeah, I guess, I mean, regardless of... Certainly, it's less scary the closer to true that is. The the less complex this question actually was that has just been solved by AI, and is is less terrifying. But really, whatever whatever the bounds on that um, range of possibilities are, the fact is I don't see any evidence um, that anyone thinking in this space with power to do anything about it is seeing what they're creating as an evolutionary process itself, um, into which checks and balances must be put as selection would be putting. Um, in, on organisms um, such that um, a human being could override a runaway process that happened. Yeah, I don't see any evidence that's happening. So that's that's why sort of any um, AI gains in kind of any space I find a bit terrifying because I see no parallel conversation around what where's where's the kill switch. Yeah, and I don't, and I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm just missing it. I'm not aware of it. This is not a literature conversation I I pay attention to, but I don't know of it if it's there. Well, I think there's a lot of thinking around runaway AI and what might be done about it, but yeah. so far it's in the context of um, you know libertarian solutions, which are right. too voluntary to be workable. Um, so, I guess what I would say is. Um, it is time that we started taking all of these things like, okay, you've got CRISPR-Cas9. Is this the end of the world? It's not the end of the world, right? We've got a typewriter for genes. We don't have the Rosetta Stone, but the Rosetta Stone is coming. Mm -hmm. It will. At that point, CRISPR-Cas9 becomes a much more frightening phenomenon, okay? You've got AlphaFold2. Does that mean that we're about to be able to design proteins to do whatever we want and, you know, we're going to be molecularly interfering with the world in a way we can't uh, undo? Not yet. But it's coming, right? So, uh, you know, likewise, gain of function mutation research, right? Is is COVID nineteen the product of such thing? Uh, Could well be. Could well be. But even if it's not, it it could happen. So it's time that we get used to the idea that our power is now so great that we're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to Fermi paradox ourselves out of existence if we don't get wise really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. And so. Um, each one of these things. And stop. We need the best brains on every possible topic. So this is not the moment to be virtue signaling around immutable characteristics. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're going backwards. Yeah. Um, so yes, I, I think that's the point. we got to stop going backwards. It's time to start yep. going fa- forwards at a rate that is conceivably fast enough to catch up to the dangers we're creating. Yep. And uh, those would have us going backwards are... Uh, a threat to the endeavor very clearly. Mm -hmm. And many of them aren't contributing anything good.